वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश एटी टू सो स्टेटमेंट इज द शॉफ इज सपोर्टेड बाय स्मूथ थर्स बेरिंग एट ए एंड स्मूथ जनरल बेरिंग एट सी इफ डायमीटर इज थ्री इंच डिटरमाइन द एब्सोल्यूट मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन द शॉफ्ट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ शॉफ्ट देर इज अ थ्रस्ट बेरिंग एट ए एंड स्मूथ जनरल बेरिंग एट सी देर इज अ लोडिंग ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड पाउंड एट बी एंड एट सी देर इज एटीन हंड्रेड पाउंड सो डायमीटर इज ऑल्सो गिवन एज थ्री इंच सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन दिस शॉफ्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट वी विल फाइंड द इफ वी रिमूव दिस थ्रस्ट बेरिंग एंड स्मूथ बेरिंग सो देर विल बी अ रिएक्शन फोर्स एट पॉइंट ए एंड देर विल बी अ रिएक्शन फोर्स एट पॉइंट सी लेट वी रिप्रेजेंट रिएक्शन फोर्स एट पॉइंट ए इज आर ए एंड एट पॉइंट सी इट इज आर सी सो बाई यूजिंग इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम बाई इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम वी विल फाइंड दिस अन नोन रिएक्शन फोर्स इज सो लेट फर्स्ट फाइंड दिस इक्विलिब्रियम अनोन रिएक्शन फोर्सेज सो वी विल टेक फर्स्ट इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन दैट सम ऑफ ऑल मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टेकिंग द काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज मूवमेंट एज पॉजिटिव सो अबाउट पॉइंट सी वन मूवमेंट इज आर ए इन टू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज सिक्स फीट एंड दिस इज प्रोड्यूसिंग क्लॉक वाइज सो इट विल बी नेगेटिव द सेकेंड मूवमेंट इज थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज थ्री एंड इट विल बी काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज सो इट विल बी पॉजिटिव द थर्ड मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट डी इज एटीन हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री एंड दिस विल बी अगेन क्लॉक वाइज सो इट विल बी नेगेटिव सो आई विल राइट सिक्स टाइम आर ए दैट विल बी माइनस प्लस थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री माइनस एटीन हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू विल गेट माइनस सिक्स आर ए विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस And when you solve this, you will get R A will be equal to 900 pounds. So this is the value of R A. We will find R B by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces in a y direction must be equal to zero and taking the put force as positive. So you can see we have four forces now R A which is upward, R C is upward minus 3600 minus 1800. So R A is 900. So 900 minus 3600 plus R C minus 1800 will be equal to zero. And again, when you solve this, you will get R C will be equal to 4500 pound. Now you have these reaction forces at point A and C. So we can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram in order to. get the maximum bending stress so for that i will draw vertical lines on the end of this beam and for bending for shear force i will draw the horizontal and x will be in feet so here we will take the shear force that will be in pounds so let each division is equal to uh, 500 you can see or you can see one division is 1000 So let take it thousand. So it will be two thousand. Similarly, this will be minus thousand, minus two thousand, and minus three thousand. Okay. So at point A, you can see you have only R A, which is nine hundred pounds. So I will plot nine hundred. So let this point is nine hundred. For example, this is nine hundred. So moving from point A till point B, there is no other force. So nine hundred will remain same till point B. So I will draw it horizontal line. Now at point B, you can see you have a load of thirty six hundred. So nine hundred. Minus thirty six hundred will equal to minus twenty seven hundred. So your shear force will directly go to twenty seven hundred downward. So let this point is twenty seven hundred. So shear force will go to twenty seven hundred. So this is your nine hundred point. This is minus twenty seven hundred. Clear. And moving from point B till C, there is no other force. So twenty seven remain will same till point C. so we will draw a horizontal line 
till this point there now at point c you have a load of rc which is 4500 so minus 2700 plus 4500 is equal to 1800 so your shear force will go to 1800 so let this point is your 1800 this point so shear force will go to 1800 so this is your 1800 pound and moving from c to d again there is no other shear there is no vertical force so it will remain horizontal so it will go horizontal and at point d you can see plus a, minus 1800 so it will go down to zero okay so this is your shear force now we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram again there is a x in feet now you can see the area under the shear force diagram this is the first area and this area is equal to 900 multiplied by this length which is three feet so it will give you 2700 so this area will give 2700 so let each division is of uh, uh, 1000 again uh, the unit will be pound into feet this is 2000 I will write moment in pound into feet this will be 3000 similarly this will be minus 1000 if I extend this line so minus 2000 minus 3000 4000 5000 and so on now first was 2700 so we'll look at 2700 so 2700 at this point let this point is 2700 pound into so you can see that shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line okay it will be a straight line joining from original point to this point okay so let me zoom it okay the second area is you can see this area and this area is equal to minus 2700 into this length which is again three feet so it will give you minus 8100 so 12 2700 minus 8100 will give you minus 5400 at point c so minus 4400 so let this point is minus 4400 this point so your bending moment will be like this it will be a straight line with slope decreasing because you can see that the shear force is a horizontal line and that is negative so bending moment will be the first degree line and its slope will be decreasing now we have third area left which is this one and this area is equal to 1800 multiplied by this length which is three feet so 1800 into sorry 1800 into 3 will give you 5400 plus so minus 5400 plus 5400 will give you zero at this point so it will be like this so this point is minus 5400 and you will get the bending moment will be like this now from this from this bending moment diagram bending moment diagram you will get the maximum bending moment mod of maximum bending moment will come out to be minus 5400 so again minus 5400 will be equal to 5400 pounds into feet now you know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we have been given that circular shaft having diameter 3 inch so let this is the neutral axis of this shaft and this radius will be equal to this r will be equal to 1.5 inch so moment of inertia for this circular shaft about this neutral axis is equal to we have formula pi r4 over 4 so you can just put the value pi r is 1.5 power 4 divided by 4 
and we will get this moment of inertia so moment of inertia after calculation come out to be 3.9761 inch power 4 now what about c so c is the distance c is equal to r distance from neutral axis till the topmost so that is equal to r and r is equal to c and that is 1.5 inch now you have all the values you can just put in this so sigma max is equal to maximum bending moment which is 5400 pound into feet so we will convert it into inch and for that i will multiply it with 12 multiply by c which is 1.5 divided by i which is 3.9761 so when you solve this you will get the maximum bending stress will be equal to 24.4 ksi so this is the answer of our problem 6-82 now we will move toward another problem that is problem 6-83 which is related to this one again what is the statement so we will first read that the shaft is supported by a smooth truss bearing at a and smooth journal bearing at c the material has an allowable bending stress is 24 ksi determine the required minimum diameter of the shaft so this is the opposite of this so again all the uh, if you solve this again you have to repeat all this so you have to find the reaction force which we have already find at point a and c so since we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i there but here c is not given we have given allowable stress and we will find diameter so we know that c is equal to d by 2 and i is again equal to pi by 4 r square which means as r4 c4 so instant we will replace c with d by 2 power 4 so this i will be equal to pi by 64 d4 now maximum bending stress uh, moment again we will take it from here as we have already solved this problem so maximum bending stress uh, bending moment will be taken from the bending moment diagram and that is 1500 pound into feet so you have all the values uh, c is equal to d divided by 2 and from bending moment diagram we have maximum bending stress bending moment comes out to be 5400 pounds into feet now you can just put it in this formula so maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment and c is equal to d divided by 2 and i is pi by 64 d power 4 maximum bending stress is 24 ksi that is given over here so you can just put with the value 64 into 10 raised to power not 64 24 so 24 into 10 is to power 3 is equal to maximum bending moment is 1500 pounds so 1500 pound into inch we will multiply 12 clear and this is d by 2 divided by pi by 4 pi by 64 d power 4 so when you solve this you will get d will be equal to 3.02 inch so 3 is the maximum value so since we have been asked to find the diameter nearest 1 by 3 1 by 16 inch so this d will be equal to 3 1 by 16 because you can calculate it 1 by 6 will give you a value that will be either equal to 0 0.2 or less so we will convert it into uh, one nearest 1 over 16 so this was uh, about all about problem 6 0.83 both these problems 6.82 and 6.83 was related to each other that's why i haven't repeat uh, to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram instead i have taken the help from the previous problem i hope you have enjoyed the video and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and 
press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching